Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Tabaristan. The aspirations become Persia, the Bukhara, back when the Uzbek forced Timurids to release Persia in a war, so we need to crush the Persians. A lot of spy bars was discovered in there. Currently has surrendered. Yeah, I'm not sure how much more we need to drag this on. The Ottomans doing. Okay, they allied Muscovy. I think that's uh, because they both hate Poland. Okay, we do have one loan, but we're going to pay that off. Okay, so let's humiliate them. I'm going to force them to give that back to Armenia. Give that. And war reparations, you're not allowed to be allied to Persia. Or Trebizond. Well, maybe you can be. Okay, so we're not getting any land for ourselves in that war. That's fine, though. We can get 4,000 more troops. Now we eclipse them, so we got lots of power protection. 30 from humiliating them, and 10 for eclipsing them. And we can get another idea group here if we get this filled out. Excuse me. Okay, we can't embargo them any longer. So let's see about rivals. Your rival to Kazan. Guess we're gonna have to rival Kazan. Much as I like them. We need a rival. We'll just go around topping off relations with our allies and we'll annex Asa. They developed a little bit here. Let's gain the prestige. Increase our trust there. Can't do it anywhere else yet. Armenia likes us now. Okay, so we'll inherit their army, but we do need 3,000 more. Let's gain more piety. Okay, we're done topping off relations there, so let's work on Hormuz.
And now we'll get a lot more manpower. Okay, States Basra, definitely. Okay, who wants more? Amirs wants something. Why don't we give him that? Okay, let's add this in as well. Just soaking up all of our admin points, but hey, what can we do? Okay, we could give this to our Ulama if we want to get rid of the unrest altogether. But we'll wait to see who can give us something and then extract money that way. Um, let's stop paying these forts for the moment. So Armenia attacking Georgia? I thought so. How's that war over? Because Trebizond means Korea. Losing our great power status. Yeah, there's nothing we could do about that. Muscovy just won and got a bunch of land. And let's see if we could build a trade building. Okay, we've got workshop. Yeah, let's put one in here. I'll make us a lot of cash eventually. And we haven't insulted a rival in a while. Wait till the first of the year. Okay, Shervan got some land back here. Borders are less ugly. Our statesman finally died. Let's see if we can get either another statesman or a diplomat. That'll work. Making 12 ducats a month when we're not paying our trips or our fort. I think we could afford to pay this. Okay, Iraq, 1540s, so another six years before we're allowed to invade them. Fortunately, they are now Shiite. They're probably converting nice all their stuff. Yeah. So two provinces and this one is 85% of the way done. So they should have it all Shiite and then we can conquer it. And it won't upset any Sunni nations very much. That's just rude, Kazan. Okay, so we need to top off relations here. Sure. Uh, we could get 6,000 manpower there. Yeah, let's do it. We really need to get this up. I'm thinking we might want to go for trade ideas. And try to be an economic powerhouse. I mean, I want religious, but we're so far behind here that it does make sense. Let's go for religious first. We might as well just get up to admin tech 10. Take religious ideas.
Okay, rival of our rivals, Muscovy. Sounds like a plan. We could try to get them as an ally. Be comfortable with that. Plus that fort. And no revolt risk that I can see. Okay, we could potentially fabricate some claims here. Or there. Um, but this. Yeah, they're both um, allied to Mamluks. And they're Sunni, so I'm not particularly interested. And uh, fighting them and the next sam and getting more aggressive expansion. Okay, Ulama. Uh, could we get a royal marriage with you yet? No. Work on some more claims here. We've got two provinces claimed. I would like another one. So we've got like five years before we're allowed to invade them, though. Something like that. Yeah, five years. Okay, were we saving up for building? I don't think so. Where's that? Docks and shipyards would be nice. We could get a trade fleet. A 21 and 4. Let's get another cannon. That's all the sailors we have. I get five more each month. And it takes ten months. Let's get one shipyard there. And let's see if we can get some more claims on Persia. Persia's improving relations with Ottomans, I don't like seeing that. And some piety. And let's see how long this video has been going on. 13 minutes. Oh, forgot we're at our limit here. Okay, the spice 17. So we could have one more trip as long as we have the general, but there's no reason to keep them there. Just double check. Okay, how's our military tech going? Eight years at a time? Good. Yeah, let's get trade ideas. Influence and diplomatic are really nice, but we need we need money. After that early game. 
we can see how a lack of money is a is an issue. Okay, we're getting a lot more manpower than we were early on in the game. Inflation is ticking up again, but we gotta worry about this tech. As long as our income is growing more quickly than our inflation is, then we'll be okay. Unlike this 301, is a joker. Okay, let's protect trade here in Basra. I set them to go home at war, though. Okay, let's see. I created a proper fleet. We're already working on that. And Muscovy, would you be willing? Uh, you can't sign this. Um, they're still counter espionaging us. Yeah, definitely want more sailors here. Muscovy, would you be our ally? Our Commonwealth is actually already formed. Well, let's buddy up to the Commonwealth. If Ottomans aren't going to ally us, we should start looking elsewhere. So we get morale of armies plus 10%. We'll get discipline. We should end up getting a lot of manpower too. Ooh, Armenia. Eat dogs. Probably near like 40, yeah. Just keep getting more ships. Okay, we got caught spying on Persia. Let's be ready for a fight if we need to. Okay, so we currently get five sailors a month. Let's see how much this increases it. Six. can't say that that was entirely worth the money, but as this autonomy goes down, it will become more and more viable. Okay. Um, stuff claims and all that. It's still on our stuff, too. 
and the Ottomans are hostile. So we're going to set ourselves as threatened and see if we can get an alliance with the Commonwealth. See if we can get anything there. Nope. Persia can field 22,000 men. And we have 28. So we're not in the first list, but we're pretty competitive with some of the moderately successful European powers. And we don't need legitimacy too badly at the moment. So 26, so that's 28.6 when you add in this guy that gives us the plus one. Okay, I'd love to invade them. I think our next target's going to be Iraq next year. They wouldn't ally us. Why not? Neutral altitude. Military isn't tough enough. Low diplomatic reputation. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Like to beat up Armenia, particularly for this province. Let's see if they have any money. Five hundred ducats. Yeah, I'd really like to beat up on Armenia. Okay, Trebizond is helping them. Why don't we just hit them first? We need this province. And then taking all our cash, of course. Okay, okay. let's do it. I shouldn't have hesitated there. Okay, I think we'll just take both of these provinces and then go up north. Okay, that's not our seizure though. This guy's our seizure. So we'll switch them out. Okay, that should work. Of troops on the mountains here. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't have to court too much from them, so... <laughs> Lost another ruler. Okay, 315. That's, that's not bad. And he is calm. I like that. Next month we can get another one. There's Midas Touch for Choo Choo. He's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just move on to this mountain. I think they're building something there. Definitely not going to attack here. It just wouldn't be worth the cost of manpower. Lost general. Okay, so we want this province. We also want your money. We're not allowed to have an alliance there. We could force you to give stuff back. Um, but this is. This is fine. We could become a defender of the faith. I see no reason to do that. That would just drag us into wars. Okay, we're once again a great power. Hey, Commonwealth. Take us seriously. <laughs> Please. Okay, that was well timed. Finish that war just in time come down here and the shark claims okay actually we're gonna send that leader and this guy is going to go here and that guy's gonna go there we should stack wipe them yeah I can dig it. Already cracked the walls. Let's make sure that our cannons are in the right spot. They are. Okay. Anything that we need to be doing with our money? I think we just save that for the next institution in 10 years. Speaking of that, let's get some cash. And next year we can invade Persia. Let's keep an eye on aggressive expansion. But it's only going to upset the Shiites. So that gamble did work out for us. Okay, what's going on there? Um, 144 months. We really want to wait through that. See if we can get an Inquisitor. Theologian would work too, but the Inquisitor is my preference. Nope. Don't want to throw away too much money on this, but. We can fire those four that we've done. Guess we'll get this guy for now. 
Okay, Persia foolishly declared war on somebody, not realizing that we're going to invade them. Okay, so we can give our merchant guilds more influence. And upset two estates. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. So at least we can make this estate happy, and we don't lose 15 army tradition, which is basically all of our army tradition. And we do need to strip some influence from our merchant guilds. Unless they're going to tick down naturally. Let's see. Oh, 88. Four years before we granted the monopolies. Okay, what about this? Can we strip this from where would that put him at? 82. Yeah, we'll take this for now. And be disloyal for a little while. With 82, they're not at 85, so they're just going to get one progression per month. Rather than at 85, they would have gotten two. And we can get another unit of troops. I'm thinking we get another cannon. Actually, that's going to take too long. We'll do it there. Okay, convert that to Shiite, that's the plan. We'll face Iraqi separatists before that happens. Unless we can get rid of this guy, yeah, let's fire him. Okay, Shervon, let's get Hormuz happier with us. Let's get Balochistan happier with us. May of next year. Now there. Stop giving us the same guys over and over. Yeah, we'll just take that for now. Because we can't just throw away more money. Okay, how many Iraqi separatists could we expect there? 24,000. It's definitely not ideal. And uh, maybe we should hold off on the missionary. Okay, um, do we want to save up for this tech? I think we do. Yeah, let's cancel this. It's just going to provoke them too much. Let's instead core it. Whoops. That wasn't intentional. It's unfortunate. Is that the only general we have? Okay, let's give...
Oh, we'll park them both on Tashdistan. Okay, counter reform Catholic is an option there. Maybe we should provoke them. Yeah, let's. No, we really can't. We're recording now. Just thinking that we might want to do it before we attack Persia. Okay, everyone back into Basra. Okay, Baluchistan would come in if we promised them land. Uh, they have 7,000 troops. Which is 22. Um, we're going to go for Hamadan. I was wondering if we should bring them in. I guess. Well, how many? Years? Let's get their trust up. I guess we could have done the uh, prepare for war thing. Yeah, they're involved in another war, so we can't do that. Okay, now Lucasan would join. Just on the basis of trust. Okay, so one guy's going there, this guy's going there. Take a look at what their naval situation is. 13 ships. I'm not going to engage them. They don't number us. Couple off relations there. Let's work on relations there. We're not going to set ourselves as hostile. And set ourselves as friendly, even. Keep an eye on our time here. 37 minutes in, so I'm going to stop this video here. Thank you for watching.